So we're gonna explore Colombia today to learn about the gold rush. If you're ready to do that, go, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Teaching history to seven and eight year olds is a challenge because they think George Washington and Abraham Lincoln were friends. And by having this opportunity with Ranger Phil, we were able to take that, that book learning and start using it, taking that vocabulary, those key words that maybe they're not quite sure of, and start using it, putting it in sentences, asking questions about it. You know, you want to embed them in their brains. And I'm finding that happening, and my kids are excited about vocabulary. So everyone say, hey, Mr. Hill. Hey, Mr. Hill. Now, he lived in Missouri, and he worked on riverboats. He decided to come to the gold rush and strike it rich. So he traveled to Missouri and he bought himself a wagon and six oxes. Through our video conference today, we were able to work on collaborative conversations, to articulating questions, to following through on ideas, asking those clarifying questions, to where you can listen and learn and so can the person next to you. That's how the world works. Let's go inside here and take a peek. So this has everything. If you recognize anything, whisper it to your classmates. Let's look around. Some dishes. There's that ladle. Oh, there's some food. A couple years ago, I'd heard about that the state parks had this virtual field trip opportunity. And I was able to make that connection and, and to get the pieces. And gosh, it's not that tough. They have so many options. And so connecting with Ranger Phil with the Columbia State Parks was awesome. And he was just wonderful. Um, the kids were very excited. Yeah, so let's be a grizzly bear, put up your claws. They have a big hump, so put up your back hump and go, grrr. I think what's really cool that we got to learn new facts. I think learning about how the pioneer's life was, was really cool. Finally, we've been listening to the, to the promises of what technology can do for education. And it's finally here. We have the apps, we have the devices, we have access. M most kids have some access at home, whether even if it's just on a smartphone, to where they can get their questions answered and they can go out seeking. Where curiosity is so important to learning and it keeps kids in excited about school. Did miners only look for gold? Well, that's what they came here, but they found some other stuff. What do you think they found in Silver City? Silver. Silver, right. What do you think they found in Copperopolis? Copper. What do you think they found in Iron City? Iron. Nope, gold. <laughs> it starts with the conversation, getting the kids talking to each other. It is so important. And I, I structure activities in the classroom for them to practice that. Boys and girls, you've been a great group. Lots of great questions. Pat yourself in the back one more time. Pat the person on the left's back. And they are so proud and they are developing the, the words to communicate. And you see the comprehension and the confidence moving and growing. I've never been more excited about teaching than I am now. You boys and girls, have a great day. Bye-bye.